Well, good evening. I wanted to set uh, something straight that I said in the last video, which is video number 10. I said that Ariel Sharon was a vegetarian. He's actually, actually in a vegetative state. It's not very funny. And the Lord really wants all of us to pray for him that he would come out of that coma and that uh, he would be healed. Now, I want to share a little story with you about Jesus in Mark chapter 3. It says, another time he went into the synagogue. Now, this is talking about Jesus. And a man with a shriveled hand was there. Some of them were looking for a reason to accuse Jesus, so they watched him closely to see if he would heal him on the Sabbath. Jesus said to the man with the shriveled hand, stand up in front of everyone. Now, think about that. There's a man with a shriveled hand in a synagogue, and Jesus looks right at the man with the worst condition and tells him to stand up. And then Jesus asks them, which is lawful on the Sabbath, to do good or to do evil, to save life or to kill? But they remained silent. He looked around at them in anger and deeply distressed at their stubborn hearts. You know, there was a time in the scriptures that says Jesus could only heal a few people in one particular town that he went to because of their lack of faith. Here the Son of God, the Son of God could only heal a few people. He couldn't he do any miracles, signs and wonders, nothing because of their lack of faith. God wants you to have a living faith, a walking faith, not live in presumption but to live in faith. To be a man and a woman and a boy and a girl of faith. So, it says here, which is lawful on the Sabbath to do good or to do evil? To save life or to kill? But they remained silent. He looked around at them in anger and deeply distressed at their stubborn hearts and said to the man, stretch out your hand. The faith that Jesus had, stretch out your hand. He stretched it out, and his hand was completely restored. Then the Pharisees went out and began to plot with the Rhodians how they might kill Jesus. Tonight, I'm saying to you, you're the one that Jesus is looking at in the synagogue tonight. You're the one with the withered hand. Whatever your condition is, whether it's cataracts, blindness, ear problems, whether you've got a heart condition, whether you've got a heart valve condition, whether you have a back condition, whether you have a diabetes, whether you have uh, had a stroke, whether you've, had, uh, you've got kidney problems, whether you have cancer, in any place in your body, Jesus is looking at you tonight and he's saying, you're the one with the withered hand. And he's saying, stand up, my child. Stand up and receive your healing. Stretch forth your hand and be healed by the Son of the living God. Now, I'm asking you to do this tonight. That's what I've been sharing all these nine, ten different videos about. They're all about the same thing, about the Son of the living God. He died for our sins. His blood was given for our remission for sins, and his body was given, was, was beaten and put on the cross for, um, for, our, um, for our healings. So come, come and see the Son of the Living God tonight. Just look up, look up to the front of the synagogue, and Jesus is looking at you, and he's saying, stand up, my child, and stretch forth your hand. Stretch it out. Stretch it out. Stretch forth your hands. Stretch it out. Lift up your hands, even right now as I speak to you. Lift up your hands. God can heal you. He heals through. He's, he, I've had people healed through the telephone. I've had people delivered through the telephone. Lord, I deliver the people that have demonic uh, forces. 
attacking their bodies. I rebuke it in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I break the assignment of the enemy in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And I say, be healed, be healed in Jesus' name. Whatever your condition is tonight, God is here to deliver you. So th th there's, there's not much of a story here tonight to share with you other than the fact that Jesus told the man with the withered hand to stretch 